Vivek, I don't feel confident in front of my superiors. How can I show powerfully with them? This is the question I encounter almost on a daily basis in my coaching conversations. And these are not ordinary people. They are super successful. They make a lot of money. They have C-level positions and they still struggle. The struggle to show powerfully with the people in power, their bosses, their super bosses, board of directors, high value clients. And these guys have tried everything out. They tell me that, you know, they dress well, they wear designer clothes, they live in plush apartments, they drive expensive cars. They have watched YouTube videos, they have read many books and still they are not able to show up confidently. Confidence is not an external thing. Confidence doesn't come from the clothes you wear, the kind of apartment you live in, the kind of degrees you hold or the places you have traveled to. Confidence is an internal thing. Confident, confidence comes from within. If you have tried any external approach, you might feel confident for a while, but eventually that will fade away. It's like engine of the car. So the car looks good, but the engine is not powerful. When you are climbing on a steep hill, you will fail. But if your engine is powerful, even if the car doesn't look that great, the color is not stunning, design is not very powerful, you would still be able to ride the mountains well. So how can you Work on yourself internally so that you appear confident. Not only you appear confident, but you become confident regardless of the situation, regardless of the clothes you're wearing. Doesn't matter whether you are driving a BMW or riding an auto or you're just walking. Today I'm going to share three strategies. If you work on them, you will not only show up confident, Become confident. The first thing is integrity. Integrity uh, is very distorted term, particularly in uh, corporate context, because most of the companies have defined the word integrity looking at their interest. So today, let me tell you what integrity means to you. Integrity means doing what you say. It's about keeping your word. If you made a commitment to somebody, honor it. And if you feel that you're not in position to honor your commitment or you're keeping your word, then keep them informed well in advance. And if there is a consequence to that, be willing to pay for that consequence. The second thing is authenticity. So being authentic, showing people who you truly are, be okay with your preferences, be it eating, dressing, your movies. Most of the time you would notice that you try to Pretend to be somebody who you are not. You try to create an impression that doesn't exist. And when you try to showcase something that doesn't exist, then all the psychic energy is wasted in that direction. And you feel like a cheater. You feel like a thug. You feel like an imposter. 
So be who you are. Show up the way you truly are. Be okay with your preferences. Be okay with your food choices. Be okay with your skin color. Be okay with your body size. Be okay with your nationality. Be okay with the region you belong to. Be okay with what you have. And also be okay with what you are not. And when you show up to people, when you deal with them, just be yourself. And the third thing is vulnerability. One of the extraordinary quality all the super confident people possess is sharing who they truly are. Even if they are not good at something, they go out and tell people that, hey, I am poor at it. Even if they have failed in their life, they are okay with it in sharing to people that I just screwed up. They are okay accepting that mistake. When you work on these three things, then you will have much deeper conviction. And not only you'll able to, you will be able to show up confidently, you'll also be in position to build trust. You will win people. You will create a fan around you. Go ahead and try these three things. Number one, integrity. Number two, authenticity. And number three, vulnerability. Shine at any place, any time, regardless of what kind of dress you are in or what kind of possessions you have. Friends, last week many of you complained that you tried hard but could not get a spot on my calendar. So, if you are struggling with communication, if you are not able to show up confidently or you want to work on your executive presence, I've got five free spots on my calendar again this week. So the link is given uh, in the message. Click the link that will give you access to my calendar. Pick the time that works for you and we'll get on the call to find out why you're stuck, what's withholding you and what can you do to show up confidently and shine wherever you are. I look forward to see you there. Have a pleasant day ahead.